So we've got this great Bit Phoenix Ghost chassis, and it's got a lot of opportunities in terms of being able to integrate additional airflow into it. So we have one exhaust fan that we're going to go ahead and work here. We're then going to have two intake fans, uh, which are really easy to work with. We just go ahead and open the easy service uh, flap right there, and we go ahead and we're going to have one 120 millimeter here, another 120 millimeter here, and those are going to both be downward firing, and those are going to be intake based. Uh, one of them actually, I'm going to have linked into the CPU header, and uh, that's going to be specifically kind of tied into VRM. So the other CPU fan header is being used by our Noctua low profile uh, cooling solution, so that's great because that's going to help keep the uh, processor nice and cool under load. But we also want to be able to go ahead and link that in. So as the CPU temperature is reported, and we need to go ahead and have uh, the VRM additionally cooled as well, we're going to go ahead and have one of the fans linked into that secondary CPU optional fan header so that we get optimal cooling in association with when the loading is increasing on the CPU, we're also going to have, of course, increased loading on the VRM. So that fan's going to kind of be linked into that. So two fans from there. And then, of course, here we additionally have another uh, set of fans that can be put in for fixed front intake. So that's going to help to go ahead and bring in cool air and bring that across not only the GPU, but across our storage array configuration. So once again, we have an easy to service access. So we just pop that guy out and we'll pull that guy out and that will allow us to go ahead and access those two. So uh, we're gonna be utilizing Bit Phoenix's Spectre Pro LED based fans. These are awesome high performance fans that not only have a great CFM ratio, but they have a great acoustic tonality to them. So uh, when we go ahead and use them in conjunction with our fan expert technology, it's gonna keep things very nice and cool and optimized in terms of a pressure flow and overall uh, uh, the CFM per minute in terms of air circulation throughout the entire chassis. So with that, let's go ahead and get these installed inside the chassis. Okay guys, so first up we're going to go ahead and install our back exhaust fan. So this is going to be a 120 millimeter exhaust fan. So once again we're using the Bit Phoenix Spectre Pro LED based fans. And one word to note, the great thing that also uh, is about these fans is that they come included with silicon mounting uh, screws, quote unquote, uh, that you can go ahead and thread through uh, where you would normally go ahead and screw in a standard uh, metal based screw. The advantage that you're going to have with that, of course, is that it minimizes the amount of vibration that passes through the actual assembly and helps to go overall give you superior acoustics, especially if you're ramping the fan at higher RPM levels. So with that, let's go ahead and get this guy installed. So you do want to keep in mind that when you're um, getting ready to install this, where you're going to want to go ahead and run the cable. So we do have an actual chassis fan connection right here, uh, pretty much right below our Intel Gigabit Ethernet uh, I.O. And so we're going to essentially want to have the, have the fan cable running uh, to that point. So we're just going to want to keep that in mind there. Okay. I'm going to essentially hold this guy in place and thread these guys through. And we're just going to go ahead and slide it in. Once we've slid it in, we're just going to go ahead and pull it through on the other end. And once it goes ahead and snaps in, we're good. So let's go ahead and get that done one more time here. Okay. Pull that one through. And we've got one other one here for the top. Okay, so that's good. And then one last one. Okay, so that goes ahead and completes our mount for the back 120 millimeter fan. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and install the two top 120 millimeter fans. So now that we have the 120 millimeter fan in place, uh, we're going to go ahead and take our four silicon screws, thread them through the corresponding holes, and get this rested into place. Now I've gone ahead and utilizing a set of pliers here to make it a little bit easier for me because as you pull them through, you're going to need a little bit more tensile strength at your fingertips. Uh, so if you've got bigger hands like me, bigger fingers, this will make the process a little bit easier for you. So I'm just going to lightly grab on it and just pull just a little bit. Get one in here in the next hole and pull once again just a little bit. Next one up, Gotta thread it through the hole. Okay. Okay, and then the last one. 
And like I said, the great thing about these fans is that you do come included with these. You could use screws, uh, but this makes the process, I feel, actually a little bit easier sometimes than screwing some, th screwing some items in. Dropped one there, so let's just go quickly back and push it in just a little bit more. Okay, and we've gone ahead and successfully installed it. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing to the second intake fan, and from there we'll move over to the front. Okay guys, so next up we're just going to go ahead and install our two front intake fans. Uh, once again, keep in mind that we want to go ahead and position the actual cable uh, in the correct location as we want to head and thread it through the side openings that we have available here and route them to the actual chassis connection fan headers that we have on the motherboard. So it's just something to keep in mind. So let's go ahead and get this one installed. So go ahead and drop this one in here and I'm going to thread it right through the side there so I can go ahead and pull that cable through, move in that fan, and from there just go ahead and screw it in. Now these won't utilize uh, the uh, silicon uh, screws, they'll use normal threaded screws. Okay, so just one more in the star and then we'll just get the other two corners and then from there we'll just drop in one more fan and that'll wrap up uh, the installation of all our additional fans that we've added to increase airflow uh, for our system. Okay guys, so now that we've gone ahead and installed our five Bit Phoenix Spectre Pro LED fans. Uh, we just need to go ahead and connect them to the actual chassis fan headers because the great thing about the Z87 series of motherboards from ASUS is every single header supports both three pin and four pin control. We can control it from the UEFI or from the OS. So we're just gonna go ahead and get these all linked up so that we can get it all squared away. So first one down here is we have a chassis fan header at the bottom towards our chassis front header connections and uh, just gonna go ahead and plug that guy in. Next up, we've got another one right here, pretty much next to the front USB 3. So, just gonna go ahead and get that guy in there. Okay. And then we've got another one right above the 24 pin uh, motherboard power connection. Okay. Next one is going to be for this top fan. We're gonna go ahead and uh, link that one up with the, the CPU optional fan header. Okay, and then lastly, we're going to go ahead and take this back exhaust fan right here and run that to the chassis fan lead right here. Okay, and that pretty much takes care of all of our connections.